In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 19, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota Twins vs. Los Angeles Angels The Minnesota Twins are off to a solid start in 2023, finding themselves atop the American League Central Division. And even with the injuries, they've competed each and every night, and that will need to continue on Friday as they take on the Los Angeles Angels, who appear to finally be figuring out how to win together as a team. Both of these teams have deep, talented rosters, and while it's their lineups that shine consistently, they can compete each and every night in a variety of ways. And with both being in tight division races, Races. This series, even early in the year, will be crucial. The Twins are 5-2 in their last seven Friday games and 17-39 in their last 56 road games. Minnesota is 3-9 in their last 12 versus the American League West. Meanwhile, the Angels are 5-0 in their last five in game one of a series and 29-59 in their last 88 Friday games. Los Angeles is 24-52 in their last 76 versus a team with a winning record. Ryan is on a nice run these days, but doesn't have much in the win column to show for it. Over his last three starts combined, Ryan is 1-1 with two earned and 18.0 total innings on 13 hits and three walks. As for Detmers, he's had some ups and downs on 13.1 innings with nine earned on 17 hits and seven walks in his last trio. Minnesota should have some scoring opportunities early and I think they'll take advantage. Joe Ryan is going to be the difference in this game. He sits with an earned run average of 2.16 and he's going to lock down the Angels here. The Twins' offense might not run up the score, but they are going to score enough here to keep this game close. So the Minnesota Twins' money line is our full game side pick. The over is 7-0 to 1 in Ryan's last 8 starts with 5 days of rest and 4-0 in Detmer's last 4 starts with the total set at 7-8 to and a half. The over is also 4-0 in the Angels' last 4 home games following a road trip of 7 or more days and 5-2-1 to to one in the last 8 meetings between these teams in Los Angeles. The Twins will start hot and score plenty of runs to push the total over, adding to their total against the Angels' pen. Los Angeles scores 5.5 runs per game at home, and while I don't expect them to contribute much to the total, I don't expect them to be shut out. Los Angeles hits better at home and is hitting better in May than it was in April. If either team scores a few early runs, the over is likely to cash tonight. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. San Diego Padres The 2023 MLB season continues Friday, May 19th with the Boston Red Sox taking on the San Diego Padres in the interleague showdown at Petco Park in San Diego, California. The Red Sox are 2-5 in their last seven during game one of a series and 8-2 in their last 10 games following a win. The Padres are 1-4 in their last five home games and 1-7 in their last eight overall. The over is 39-18-1 in Red Sox last 58 overall. The under is 21 to 6 to 1 in Padres last 28 overall. The Red Sox are 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings in San Diego and 4 to 1 in the last 5 meetings. The San Diego Padres are getting the benefit of the doubt because they're at home, but they've been on the struggle bus this week and Blake Snell hasn't been good through 41 innings. James Paxton is still trying to get his legs under him, but he has a hot Red Sox offense backing him up. The Padres have been disappointing this season and Blake Snell has been a reason why. Snell comes into this game with a 1-5 record overall and he's going to be lit up in this game. The Padres' offense is also ranked 26th and they aren't going to break out in this game against the Red Sox. This price is nuts given the way the Red Sox are stringing together offense. So the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. Both Red Sox and Padres have accounted for an impressive 137 WRC plus against the left-handed pitchers in May. James Paxton is a bit of a mystery and could easily struggle against the Padres. I'm a big fan of Blake Snell, but if he continues to walk batters at a high rate, the Sox will find a way to score against him. The over is 10-5 in Boston's last 15 games overall and 13-7 in its previous 20 outings on the road. 
On the flip side, the under is 12 to 2 in San Diego's last 14 games overall. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. San Francisco Giants The MLB betting action continues Friday, May 19, 2023, with the Miami Marlins facing off against the San Francisco Giants in the National League Showdown at Oracle Park in San Francisco, California. Miami is 4-0 in their last four games overall and 35-74 in their last 109 series opening games, while the over is 3-1-1 in their last five games following a win. San Francisco is 4-1 in their last five home games and 9-4 in their last 13 games following a win while the over is 5-2 in their last seven Friday games. The Marlins have won five of their last seven games overall against the spread. Alcantara has a career 2.97 earned run average against the Giants overall and a 3.06 earned run average over four starts at Oracle Park. He won his last meeting with them by pitching seven scoreless innings and allowing only three hits. The Giants have lost four of their last six games against the spread overall and have dropped three out of their last five games played at Oracle Park. They managed to win only one game out of three played at home to the last place Washington Nationals earlier this month. The Marlins have won three of their last four games outright on the road and took two of three from the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are currently in second place in the National League West at Chase Field. The Marlins won two of three games versus the Giants at home earlier this month. Miami's pitching staff limited the Giants to three runs or less in two of the three matchups, and it took San Francisco more than nine innings to score over three runs in the third game. The Giants have been struggling to cross the plate at home in 2023, ranking in the bottom half of the league in runs scored per game with 3.9. Esclafani had trouble in his last start at home against the Marlins, lasting only 3.2 innings and giving up two earned runs on eight hits. He has a 4.3 earned run average and a 1.57 WHIP against the Marlins at home over four starts. I think a case could be made for both sides in this game. But while you could question the level of Miami's recent opposition in teams like Washington and Cincinnati, those are still confidence building wins and the Marlins are playing some solid ball. San Francisco swept the Phillies, but we're getting the reigning Cy Young champ in Alcantara at even money and that's something that rarely happens. Have to take advantages of the spots when they come up. The trend suggests that the Marlins will have success at Oracle Park versus the Giants on Friday, so the Miami Marlins' money line is our full game side pick. The line has been set pretty low, making the totals a tricky wager, though I wouldn't be surprised if it goes up to 7.5 on Friday. None of those three meetings between Miami and San Francisco in April has seen more than seven runs on the scoreboard, and the under is 14-5-1 to to one in the last 20 encounters between the Marlins and Giants. The under is 4-2 to two in Miami's last six outings, on the road, and it is 3-2-1 to two to one in San Francisco's previous six showings at home. Expecting a strong performance from Sandy Alcantara and the Marlins' bullpen, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.